In fourth problem, they have said that check whether minus 2 and 2 are the zeros of this polynomial x to the power of 4 minus 16. So, we have to check whether these, poly these zeros are really zeros of this polynomial. So, first of all, we will take what is the given polynomial. So, given polynomial is given polynomial is p of x is equals to x to the power of 4 minus 16. So, for proving that minus 2 and 2 are the zeros, we should get, if we substitute these values in place of x, we should get zeros. If we are getting the value is 0, then we can say these values are the zeros of this polynomial. So, let us take first p of minus 2. So, when we substitute p of minus 2, we will get minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 16. So, minus when, when the base is minus and the power is even, you will get plus sign and 2 to the power of 4 means if you multiply 2 4 times, you will get 16. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 minus 16. So, you, here we can write minus 2 to the power of 4 is minus. So, 2 minus for even power is plus and 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. Next, we can see for, for 2. When we substitute 2, so 2 to the power of 4 minus 16. So, 2 to the power of 4 is, again we will get 16. So, 16 minus 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. As you see, since p of minus 2 is equals to 0 and p of plus 2 is also 0, therefore minus 2 and plus 2 are the zeros of p of x. In fifth problem, they said that check whether 3 and minus 2 are the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equals to x square minus x minus 6. So, for proving that these two are the zeros of this polynomial, let us take in place of x these values and substitute these values. If we get 0, then it, they, these values will be the zeros of this polynomial. So, let us start with the given polynomial. So, what is the given polynomial? given polynomial is p of x is equals to x square minus x minus 6. Next, then we have p of 3. So, p of 3. Now, substitute in place of x 3. So, 3 square minus 3 minus 6. So, 3 square is 3, 3 is a 9 minus 3 minus 6. So, minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9. So, plus 9 minus 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Then next, we can substitute in place of x minus 2. So, p of minus 2 is equals to minus 2 whole square minus minus 2 minus 6. So, minus 2. As you see, the power is even, so we will get plus sign and 2 square is 4 minus into minus plus 2 minus 6. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 minus 6, that will be 0. So, P of minus 2 is 0. Here, since P of 3 is 0 and p of minus 2 is also 0, therefore 3 and minus 2 are the zeros of polynomial p of x.